Hello and welcome to the final day of 12 days of Vlogmas. I did it, I done it. Yes, it is over. I'm going to miss vlogging every day, but I need a break because I don't know how daily vloggers do this. It's insane. Like, oh my God. I look a little bit more presentable than I did in the last video. I haven't brushed my hair, but we'll ignore that, okay? But I have makeup on now and not a lot. I just went with minimal because that's all I can do right now. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for my family to arrive so we can have food because I'm actually really hungry right now. Um, I am wearing the same jumper I wore on Friday. My voice is going, no. Um, same jumper as Friday because I like it and it is quite stylish and fashionable and dressed up. Um, I'm gonna go now because my voice is gone. <laughs> Look who I'm reunited with. <laughs> My little Hopi. And we're wearing a Christmas cracker hats again. Woo. Hope and I have resorted to my room to watch The Little Mermaid. Aren't we watching this? Yay! Yeah, yeah we are. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> no. Okay, so first things I want to say is apologies for not vlogging very much today. Um, I wasn't, as I said here, I wasn't feeling very well. I wasn't hungover, like, I'm, I was just tired. And then I think I'm just in a lot of pain as well. So I was just like, I'm gonna relax today, enjoy my time with my family. I had a lovely afternoon with my family and evening too, because they all stayed until evening. And then Margaret and Elizabeth sat a little bit longer and we had a little chit chat, whatever. Um, you've just seen me there now, I was recording while I was doing it. I've filled out my weekly planner for January, although there's nothing in it at the moment. But I've just put the dates on it, so then once I plan stuff I can fill it in. I love having a planner, I'm so organised like that. Um, and I was just looking at my... 2017 diary like and I usually write like every day in it like what I've done what I ate or what I watched what I read whatever but the last like six weeks I haven't been doing that and it's really drove me mad all I've done is write in my work hours and like if I went somewhere like afterwards so like last night I wrote oh BT gals night out or whatever um but yeah nothing really exciting happened today um uh I'm like uh um I've literally no train of thought right now. I am going to go watch Mrs. Burns Boys with Mum. Maybe have a drink because I haven't had a drink all day. And prepare for tomorrow because I'm at work tomorrow. Yay, delightful. I've nothing else to update you with, but if I do, I'll vlog. As always, I want to apologise about my appearance. First of all, my makeup is coming off. I'm breaking out again, obviously. My policy to go for he just wants me to have a uh, acne ridden face for the next few days. Secondly, I want to apologise about this lip thing here. It looks hideous and if I'm talking very funny, I bit my lip in my sleep the other night. <laughs> and like, you know, if you can focus on me. Yeah, there we go. Look, it's bruised and I have like a little ulcer on the inside. Disgusting, I know, but that's just in case you're wondering what that is. I bit my lip in my sleep the other night. Um, okay, I should probably say Happy New Year. You might tell, I look a little bit different than I did in the last clip. It's because I fell asleep last night and forgot to continue to vlog. I know, I know. Like, I'm a failure of a 24 year old. I fell asleep before midnight. My parents stayed up and I fell asleep. I'm a weak ex excuse. I can't even speak. I'm a weak excuse of a human being. Um, but yeah, Happy New Year. I hope you all celebrated in style and had a lovely night. You're all probably dying today. Um, and like, it's going up really late. So half you probably won't even see this until tomorrow. But well done to you for going out last night and having fun. Um, I was in work early this morning. So that's hence why I was in bed early, I think. Um, when I say early, I went to bed at half 11. I literally could have set up another half an hour. But I actually 
was falling asleep while drinking my glass of wine with mum. Oh, my acne is doing my head. I'm gonna just keep my hand like this. I hope you don't mind. No, I don't like that either though. Mm, fuck it. It's a few spots. Okay, I'm gonna fix it, be back. Okay, I'm back. My acne is looking better, but my lip is looking ridiculous. Oh my God. Like, I don't even know how I bit my lip in my sleep. Uh, I think it's because I didn't have my gum shield in, because I usually have a gum shield on my bottom teeth, but I didn't have it in, and I ground my teeth, and obviously, I was grinding my teeth really badly and it just fell or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to do something else in this vlog, seeing as it's the last vlog of 12 days of Vlogmas. And I didn't want to end it like I did yesterday because yesterday was literally about two minutes of footage and that's not good enough for the last day of Vlogmas. By the way, if you see this, you probably won't know what it is. It's my One Love Manchester um, hoodie. It's covered in my dinner right now, but I absolutely love it. It's so cozy. Um, but yeah, I wanted to quickly, like everyone was doing their like 2017 reviews on Instagram, but I said, listen, I'm not gonna put in a blog post because I'm gonna put my 2018 goals in a blog post. So I said, might as well do it on the old YouTube channel. Um, so I'm gonna talk about some of my highlights throughout the year. Um, now they're in no particular order, um, it's just from whatever way I wrote them down in my head that I could remember. Um, so the first thing would be still having all my friends that I care about and my new friends and my family. Um, if you know me, you know one of my biggest fears would be, or from even watching my videos because I've said it several times, one of my biggest fears in life is losing people that I love about, whether it be like they leave my life or they die like I have like my biggest fear is my loved ones dying I can't deal well with grief and like you would have seen that from my previous videos where I talk about it I'm I don't cope well with grief so one thing I'm very happy about in 2017 is that everyone is doing okay okay we all have our health problems it was such and go at times but everyone is still here so I'm very happy about that um the second thing would be travel I traveled a lot this year um my favorite place would have to be in New York because it's always been a goal of mine and a dream of mine and I remember when I got off the when I got out of the taxi from my unexpected stay over in New York City and I was wandering around Times Square. I've never felt more comfortable in a city I've never been in before. And you would think for someone who suffers from their mental health and anxiety, that being in a city that big with that many amount of people, I would have been like, oh my God, get me out of here. I was like, oh my God, I'm I'm, I'm home. I'm here, like this is where I want to be. Um, where else did I go? I went to Chicago, I went to um, Las Vegas and San Francisco, amazing, amazing, amazing. Las Vegas is a highlight as well. Um, where else did I go? I went to Germany to visit Shauna. I went to Manchester slash Blackpool to see Jacob. I went to Puerto Rico de Gran Canaria with mum and dad on our first family holiday in like seven years. Um, I feel like I was somewhere else. I definitely feel like I was somewhere else because I felt like I was in Dublin airport a lot this summer. I can't remember where else I've been. Um, but travel, I loved how much I traveled in 2017 and it is a goal for 2018 to travel as much. And my first trip is actually going to be in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 11 days. Yes, I counted on my fingers. Um, but anyway, I'm going to Madrid in 11 days. Um, the next thing I have on my list is buying my blog domain. I have for years contemplated on doing this and this year I took the leap, bought Sincerely Sarah Jane and I've never been happier. It has been doing really well. Now obviously I haven't wrote a blog post in about, God, I don't know, six weeks now, but I'm making a schedule and I'm gonna change that. I'm going back on the blog, I promise. The next thing that's on my list has to do with my confidence. I've always been a very insecure girl and I always will be. Um, and in terms of like how I look, I suffer from body dysmorphia. So what you see and what I see are two completely different things. I struggle with my weight, my appearance. Like I just, I'm very harsh on how I look. But 
and like I'm always very tough on how I am as a person as well like I I'm my worst critic but I found in 2017 I gained a confidence I've never had before and I feel like I'm a lot more of a confident and stronger person and I hope to continue to work on that in 2018. The next thing on the list is BT. Working around Thomas has been the most incredible experience for me. Like those eight weeks, nine weeks, I think, I'm not too sure, I can't remember, have been pure joy and bliss for me. The friends I've met, like, you are incredible. You know who you are. I love you so, 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 so much. I said goodbye to some of them today and they started crying and I started crying but I was trying to hold it together and I walked out of Brown Thomas absolutely sobbing and my bus driver asked me oh my god why am I crying again my bus driver asked me if I was okay and I just said that I had my last day in Brown Thomas and he's like oh god are you okay and I just had to walk away because I started crying again honestly it has been the most unexpected thing for me like it came out like I literally just went for the job interview, got it. I didn't think I like I was confident, but I was like, no way they're going to hire me or whatever. And then it's just been the most unexpected, most pleasurable thing of the year. Like it's been wonderful. So yeah, that's another plus. I can't mention my 2017 without mentioning my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Bella, my bunny rabbit. If you don't know who Bella is, um, Bella is. The new addition to the loves of my life. I have a lot of loves in my life. They all seem to be my pets. <laughs> um, Bella is just... <sighs> There's no words for her. She's the most beautiful thing I've seen. She's adorable. She's a little bit of a pain in the arse at times. She eats my hair. She bites me, scratches me. But then she, she, she licks me and cuddles me and follows me around the house. And she just brings a smile to my face every day. So I love my little Bella. Um, I would love to say, now I don't know if this is like a positive or a highlight or whatever, but it, it, it was my 2017 basically. I struggled a lot with my mental health in 2017. Um, I tried to talk about it as much as I could with like my family and friends, but I think it's a working progress and I think I should be proud of myself at the fact that I'm able to say, listen, I'm not feeling good today in terms of my mental health. I need to talk to someone. Um, and I think taking that step is, like I should be very proud of myself for taking that step. But hopefully 2018 will be a bit better, a bit more better of a year in regards to my mental health. I don't like, I don't expect for it to wake up tomorrow and it to be gone. I know that'll never happen. I know I'll always have a daily battle with my mental health, but hopefully I'll learn to manage it a little bit better like I have this year or like in 2017 I've learned how to manage my panic attacks and my anxiety thoughts a little bit better so I hope to continue and grow on that um the next thing on it is Trummer. Trummer won the county final again this year if you don't know I am a massive GAA fan and my local club is called Trummer and we basically have a team of 17 players the average age is somewhere between 38 and 45 i think like they should be all retired and um, for the second time in three years we've won a county final with 17 players i don't know how we've done it but i'm so 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 proud of my trummer guys um the next thing again it's just a bit like my mental health thing i just said a few minutes ago my health i've had like a whirlwind battle with my health over the last year. Um, I started the year in hospital and had another operation and I've continuously had problems because of that. Um, like you know I'm very open, I have a polycystic ovary and they're trying to find out if that's still causing me problems. It is still causing me problems but they're trying to find a way like why it's causing me problems. Um, if there's anything else going on down there that isn't showing up in my normal scans. Um, and as you saw the other day I had a cardiac monitor on so I'm being tested to see if I have a heart condition um, and then I have like other struggles so I have my wisdom tea and all that stuff as well so like it hasn't been a, like a good year in terms of that 
but as always i say it's not like i know my things aren't that bad at all but like you know everyone has their own battles in terms of mental health and physical health um but yeah hopefully in 2018 it'll be a lot better in terms of health for me um, anyway, quickly moving on because I don't want to dwell on that too much. Uh, another highlight of the year has to be graduating. I never ever thought I would graduate college. Like, it has been a, like a dream of mine since I was very young. And there was a time at the beginning of the year I thought I was going to have to drop out. I, I didn't think I was able for it and so much was going on in my personal life. And as I said, my mental health at the beginning of the year was not great at all. Um, and physical health <laughs> like three holes in my stomach like <laughs> and I went to college a week after I had surgery two weeks was it two weeks after I had surgery but yeah I graduated and I got a two two one like I got a like a two one degree which is like you know above average which I'm so proud of and then coinciding with that is I got an A1 on my thesis like <sighs> I wrote my thesis in about three weeks when everyone else had their draft done and were like editing it, I wrote mine. The stress that caused me, the tears, the heart attacks. But I actually did enjoy writing my thesis. Um, I wrote it on female bloggers and the positive and negative influence it has on females in society today. And I got some of Ireland's biggest bloggers and I got to interview them and it, the findings were very interesting like it actually was like nearly 50 50 as in they have a positive and negative impact and i asked like do you think that like do you set out to have that impact or do you think it's up to the person themselves and both the viewer like the reader and the blogger said it kind of turns out that way like obviously every influencer sets out to have a positive influence on someone but it could almost have a negative influence on someone because they feel the need to have to look like you or whatever so um that was very interesting and then i had to present my thesis because my um uh what are they called my supervisor was so impressed with it, he wanted me to present it and then i won an award for it like oh my god um i've already mentioned that i met a lot of new friends this year and i'm very happy about that and the next thing on the list is meeting the academic like they've been one of my favourite Irish bands in the last few years and I got to meet Dean got a little crush on Dean hope to god Sophie does not send this to their manager and show him but yeah um, Sophie organising me to meet the academic on my birthday was definitely a highlight I will never forget the next thing that I have on this is Joe Malone getting to go to the exclusive Joe Malone event in the market this year for my birthday with Margaret and Denise was incredible there was like 130 people there and I was one of them and I met Jo Malone and she said she loved my outfit can we just take a moment take a moment to appreciate that Jo Malone complimented my outfit the MBE Jo Malone fashion and style and beauty icon said that to me okay just remember that <laughs> um the next one was a huge one for me right so as I've mentioned about my anxiety and whatever and um, I hate going outside of my comfort zones and this year I done that in one particular sense. I was dying to go to Longitude for one main reason and that was because Mac Miller was announced to be playing at Longitude but it didn't announce what day he was playing at so I bought a weekend ticket just to cover the grounds because the timetable wasn't released until closer to the event and I knew the weekend tickets or the day tickets would have sold out and if I bought a Friday day ticket and he was on the Saturday or vice versa or any other days I would have like I would not have been happy but no one wanted to come with me and for ages this was a huge deal for me and I actually thought about selling my tickets several times and then my mom had a chat with me and she's like why don't you just go on your own she was like you have grown so much in confidence and you're such an independent lady why not go on your own so I went on my own now I met up with friends every day um, the Sunday I didn't because I didn't really know anyone on the Sunday but on the Friday and Saturday I met up with friends and I can tell you I had an absolute ball I met up with Flaws on the, on the Friday and it was our first time seeing each other in a long long time and I think the whole of Marley Park heard our screams and we had a fabulous photo shoot as always and then on the Saturday I met up with Evan and Ashling from college um, and I saw Mac Miller 
I actually can't believe I saw him. <laughs> and then on Sunday I was on my own, but I chilled. I had a great day, drank lots of pints and whatever. And then the same thing happened at Electric Picnic. Um, I wanted to go to Electric Picnic, but I didn't have a ticket. So then I applied to volunteer at Electric Picnic because that way you get to go to picnic for free basically because you pay a bond and you get the bond back when you do your three hour shifts, three day shifts which is eight hours so i worked the early shift on the friday got to enjoy the picnic worked the late shift on the saturday and then worked the early on sunday so i got to enjoy the picnic now i can tell you i did enjoy the epic i did enjoy the picnic because my mom had to take my boots and my clothes off me on sunday night i was that intoxicated but i should warn you always drink sensibly don't be a fool like me <laughs> um but yeah i went to both of them on my own i made new friends i met up with old friends and yeah it was a huge achievement for me i know i'm talking very very long here i know i'm on 15 minutes out but i'm wrapping up i went to coldplay and i would have never said i was a huge coldplay fan like i like some of their songs but oh my god if you ever get the opportunity to see coldplay live do it you won't regret it you know i go to a lot of concerts like i've been to no joke about 200 in my life if not more and coldplay was without a doubt the best one um, the next thing is attending my first ever Munster Hurling Final with my dad. So my dad and I go to a lot of GAA matches, but we've never been to a Munster Hurling Final and the Munster Hurling Final is always iconic because it always seems to be a good game and it was between Cork and Clare this year and it was brilliant. Um, and then the last thing is doing the VHI mini, mini marathon shoot. So I got asked to do the VHI mini marathon um, campaign this year, as in like be a promoter for it because I made a video about it when I done it in 2016 and they saw that and they wanted me and my mum to be ambassadors. So we done that and we had like a 13 week program. In I was rudely cut off by my camera because I was talking too long. Um, but yeah, what I was saying was we done um, a 13 week spread in the evening hurled about our training and our lead up to the women's mini marathon and what we were doing and stuff like that um and yeah that was just that was a huge achievement like all because i made a simple video i got to do a photo shoot so that was exciting okay i'm gonna shut up now and i'm gonna edit this video and have it up tonight for some of you to watch um thank you very much for all your continued love and support throughout 17 out 17 throughout 2017 i really appreciate it um um, I know I did hit 200 subs the other night, but I'm now down at 198. So if you could get someone to get me back up to 200, I would really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, Happy New Year. I wish everyone a year filled with joy, happiness, love, success, health. <laughs> Look who's coming to my room. Look, Luz. Hi Luz. Hi, you saying hi to my camera? Hi Luz. Hi. Oh, can we see Luce? They're Luce. Oh, look at Luce. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now because Luce isn't supposed to be in my room. I don't know why she's in my room. Oh, look at her. Adorable. Um, I'm gonna go now. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. And I shall see you soon. Bye.